So welcome back guys. My name is Amlan and today we talk about a very important issue about how to fix not being able to download applications on App Store on an iPhone. Now if you are facing this issue, let's look at a few things that you can do. Firstly, tap on iPhone settings. Here, like you will see that you are using your iPhone under a certain Apple account. Now one of the very common troubleshooting solutions is to log out from that account and log back in. So scroll down until you see sign out. So you will actually have to sign out and again sign back in. I will just put in my password. Once you do this, tap on done. So you can see that the sign out is taking effect. So it says, do you want to keep a copy or something? No, I really don't want a copy or anything of any of this. So simply sign out. So the iCloud data and everything is being removed. If you wish, you can you can keep a copy and everything. Don't worry, nothing goes. Your photos, all other data are perfectly there. So you can see we have already signed out. And now again, you need to uh, sign back in to your Apple account. So now again, like, you know, you will have to sign in manually. So put in your details again, your email and your credentials again sign back in so I will put in those details so once you have put in your Apple ID tap on continue and you will be required to put in your password once you have put in your credentials tap on done and let this thing log in and you can see that I am presently signing back into my Apple account I will be asked to put in my passcode once you put in your passcode and that's all there is to it so once you have signed out of your Apple account and then signed back in, you will see that in 50% of the cases, this problem should be solved. So now everything is fine. And if I go to the Play App Store, I should be able to download and install applications. There should be no issue. Like I will be able to update my application and everything should work perfectly fine. And you can see here it's starting. Let, let me not do this right now. Now, if this isn't working, let's look at some other things that you can do. Tap on settings. Inside settings, scroll down until you see applications. I'm presently on iOS 18.1. Here inside applications, tap on app store. Now come down until you see mobile data and app downloads. For app downloads, tap this to always allow, which means that it will not be asking you if the application is over 200 MB. Now with this done, you will see mostly your problem should be solved. Now, another thing that many people have said which works is like turning on your flight mode. All network connections will be turned off at this point. Hold on to this state say for 10 to 15 seconds and then turn it off. And at this point, what I will also advise is turning off your device. The way you turn off your device is like volume down and the power button press both together until you see the slider simply power off your device so okay I'll simply power off so the iPhone is now powered off so this really works for again 50% of the cases you simply power off your device that's it and like keep it powered off for some time and then like again use the power button to turn it on there you go you see the apple logo and let the phone start normally so turn on the flight mode all network connections go down turn off the phone and now restart it once the phone's restarted you will see that it works logging out of your apple id works almost in 50 percent of the cases restarting the device after turning on the flight mode also works wonderfully well now just prompted for the passcode and I should be able to go to the app store and download applications as normally. So everything should work fine. If I click on update, I will be able to download apps and everything should work normal. So these are the steps that you can take. So that's it. In case it's still not working, I advise you to go to settings and then to general and check if there is a software update available and go ahead and install the update. Sometimes updating your phone also helps in these cases and the last method which is not really great 
go to settings go and search for screen time inside screen time you will see that there are few many things tap on content and privacy restrictions and to allowed apps and check everything is turned on for all the apps so this is not that great a method but the earlier methods which i recommend should work for most of your cases and if you are getting the message that that this apple id has never been used before update your payment method or see my tutorial for that with this being said i hope that your problem is solved do let me know in the comment section what worked for you and if it didn't work do let us know that as well your comments help us understand your situation and may help the overall community your thanks super thanks comments everything really makes my day if you find this helpful kindly consider subscribing and do share this with your friends and family until next time it's me signing off have a great day sayonara